All right. One of those views is me, because I have the uh, I have to have the second page open here. Welcome. Alright. This cone. Alright, get my TV switched over here. All right. Is that okay? Amber. ASMR. What? Sure. Okay. Wind Waker, this is uh this is Chrono Cross, isn't it? I found. Hello, Color Grim, welcome. Well th this might be Zelda. This is this is Zelda's lullaby, isn't it? Uh Yeah, I guess it is Wind Waker. That uh, a bit of it reminded me of Chrono Cross. It might be a mashup too. <laughs> like I don't know. Like Hoy Small Fry. That uh, that sounds like something kid would say in Chrono Cross. Um. Yeah, interesting. Huh. I don't know. Wind Waker is on the to-do list. I played through like. I played through ninety-eight percent of of Wind Waker. So. That's why I'm unfamiliar with, with Wind Waker. I got to l the last dungeon, and then just... I can't remember why I stopped playing it, but I stopped playing it. <laughs> so, I've, I've played through everything up until, like, the room before the final boss in Wind Waker. I'm sure I had a good reason for, for stopping my playthrough. Like half an hour before the game was over, after spending, like, 20 hours on it, I probably had a green. Uh, the Wii U version? Um, I don't know. Maybe? I, I can be convinced I have that version on my Wii U, so... Maybe? I don't know. We could, I guess. Um, though... A, a reason that I would want to play the GameCube version instead was there are very few games that support the the GBA link cable or the, the whatever it's called and I I went out and got one of those things and <laughs> dang it I want to use that thing <laughs> so I don't know I don't know but I'll we'll have to make a call for arguments for and against which version to do it yeah the tinkle tuner um yeah, but but we have we have plenty of other Zeldos to probably get through before we even get to to Wind Waker. Um, I I think I want to play the Zeldos in release order, and and like nearly all of them. I don't think I really care about the CDI ones because it, it, just watch those on YouTube. <laughs> look look up somebody else's rips of the of the cutscenes for that banger, and that's that's probably all that I need to see of, of that one. But uh, but for the rest, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably do the rest, including two. I'm sure two is going to be a, a real good time. Um, that song just cuts out. Sweet. Um, but yeah, yes, as as some of you may have noticed, 
the second half-ish, let's say second half of the stream, uh, gonna start our Half-Life playthrough. So, uh, I mentioned this uh, yesterday and uh, maybe the, the day before that one, um, that Half-Life Alex, the VR virtual reality Half-Life um, Half Life game, brand new, is coming out on the 23rd of this month, which is roughly, today's the 6th, so... It's like a bit over two weeks. Math is hard. Two weeks ish from now, and I I have played through. I should say I cheated through Half Life One back in the day, and I think I put it on easy because good lord, I was really bad at first person shooters back then. Not that I'm any better now, but I I don't think I've ever like legitimately gone through Half Life One, and I think I might have even like skipped levels too with like console commands because. Sure, that that was how I played games back then <laughs> when I wasn't uh, wasn't able to, to do it legit. Uh, not like things are much different now. Uh, but Half Life One, I I got to the end in that one. Half Life Two, I actually played all the way through, but I can't remember a single thing that happened in that game. I didn't play through uh, Opposing Force or Blue Shift, um, and apparently Opposing Force is pretty good. Uh, Blue Shift, not so much. Uh, and then there's Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and Episode 2. Haven't played those at all. Uh, Lost Coast is a tech demo, and I'm still up in the air on whether or not I want to give that one a go. Even though it'll, it'll be like half an hour, I guess. So, sure, why not? We can throw it in at one point. Um, Portal 1 and Portal 2 are also the other ones uh, on the, the Half-Life to-do list. Because those are pretty short, and they're, they're technically in the Half-Life universe. Um, though I guess technically Counter-Strike is in the Half-Life universe too, because the first Counter-Strike game was called Half-Life colon Counter-Strike, but well, that's a multiplayer game, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, so anyways, the, the whole point here is I want to catch up on the, the Half-Life verse before Alex comes out, and then because Half-Life Alex is a virtual reality game, I want to test drive the VR streaming setup that I have before that game comes out. Um, so I, I already have my Vive, I have my headset set up, I have the base station set up over there in the corners of my room. Um, I figured out how to capture video, I still have a thing to, to make for being able to see chat. Um, but I want to actually stream and test everything out in a real game situation before we get to something like Alex, which I know is going to be a fast-paced game. Uh, it's going to demand a lot of my attention, and I don't want any weird technical problems that I didn't test beforehand when I'm playing through that and possibly selling the experience. Um, is YouTube stuttering for you? Uh, let's see. I, I might have had a RTMP derp earlier. Let's, uh, let's see here. Is anything weird with my uh, connections? I don't see anything too wrong here. Um, it appears we be good though. According to my YouTube analytics dashboard thing here, uh, stream health. Stream is healthy. Zero drop frames, zero packets lost. So I don't know. It might be on your end. Um, gotta get my keyboard out. Okay, so yeah, uh, I plan on streaming a VR game called uh, Moss before we get to Half-Life Alex, just as a uh, kind of a shakedown of um, of how all that's gonna work. So that'll that'll be the plan. We got like two weeks to do all that. So there's like there's like eight games that I want to do between now and then. So that means that a lot of stuff that I had planned up until now are gonna be pushed back. Like, the, the Sega Saturn game going to be pushed back. La Milana going to be pushed back. Um, uh, PS Explosion, like, uh, we might be able to fit Galaga in there, but um, probably going to have to put that on a back burner as well. Uh, it just depends how quickly I get through the Half-Life games. So, you know, we we got plenty of time. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll be the plan for that. I have no idea how long Moss is or how involved it is, so... We'll see. Um, 
I'm still undecided whether or not I want to order the uh, the special controllers, um, the the finger tracking controllers for uh, uh, for my VR setup yet. That, that's kind of up in the air. I have until Monday at 10 a.m. to decide because that's when they go on sale, and I'm sure they're going to be sold out within like minutes of going on sale. So I just gotta decide before then. Um, currently, I'm leaning towards no because it's it's like $300 for those things and it's only gonna be for like one game <laughs> to be honest so i don't know i don't know it's something to, something to think about hey Alyssa. okay so let's uh, let's get started here vanguard bandits number 204 part six this is the final stretch of vanguard bandits we are on mission 17 or no mission 18 i think and there are 20 missions total and apparently mission 20 is a meme um so we're we're finishing Vanguard Bandits in this this setting this this playthrough, and finally gonna be done with this really boring game. Uh, so previously, when we uh, were in our last playthrough of this, um, we were storming the Imperial Imperial capital. The Emperor got murdered. The new Emperor's son also got murdered by the sketchy general guy with the big, big anime hair. Um, and he's usurped power in the Empire, and now we're we're trying to take out that guy, so we're, we're marching towards the Imperial capital for a big final showdown. So that's, uh, that is where we're currently at here with the Vanguard Bandits, so uh, let's do it. All right. Oh, also, I checked. Uh, I checked today on the OSSC Pro thread that's on on this site about the new model of the OSSC, and the guy who is making the OSSC uh, posted a couple days ago a, a picture of the. Um, I gotta bring up the control thing here. Uh, posted a picture. Excuse me? <laughs> no. No fucking way. Are you fucking... <laughs> PSIO, you piece of trash. I fixed you. Are you fucking kidding me here? Alright, hold up. And I'm not- I'm not even getting video! What the f- <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Fucking seriously? <laughs> it, it was just working, so all I did was pull out the memory card. Uh, Alright. Okay. Uh, luckily, I have a backup for this. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Let me detach my... My wireless audio system here. There's always a plan B, so hold up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I, I was just thinking yesterday, like, oh man, my PSIO's been working great. Everything's fucking fabulous with this thing. Have had no problems. And it was just... It was working. We're in the menu. <laughs> Don't buy a PSIO, you guys. Oh, for fuck's sake. What a piece of trash that thing is. What a, like, hot, hot trash. I spent 300 fucking dollars, plus the cost of systems. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. 
fucking trash, that thing. I, I really hope it didn't, like, corrupt my saves, either. Alright, let's get the Xbox unplugged to you. Plug in this. Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Eh. Okay, here's, here's the moment of truth. <sighs> okay. All right. Cross your fingers. Oh, that's right. I got to switch my audio over too. Of course. All right, hold up. This one. This one. All right, come on, PS1. You got this. And of course, we're, we're not getting a signal. Uh. <laughs> what? Hello? I, I see it on my TV. There it is. Okay. All right. I really hope that save file is still there. Because <laughs> if it isn't, then we're going to... Okay. Man, this looks like shit. What the? That's weird. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, fine. Oh, what? What a pain in the ass. Hey, Orange Blur. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, guys, we have to play Vanguard Bandits tonight. <laughs> Despite the universe's best efforts, I still have to play Vanguard Bandits tonight. I know it's, that's disappointing, but it's working, so we got to do it, I guess. Okay. Draw them out from the fort. Sure. Uh, I've seen other other people with similar problems with their PSIOs, and uh, the reply that they usually get is is that ASCII emoji. <laughs> so so I I don't have high hopes. Alright, what's, what's Andrew got to say here? Yep, that one. That is the one. Thought he'd get to wear the cool black costume? Well, he, he still can. There's nothing stopping him. Alright, is Barlow still fat? to replug it. Yep. It's, uh, I know that the, some of the, um, like, mid-2000s DS flash carts have, uh, have firmware in them that the, the firmware expires and bricks the, um, bricks the flash cart unless you keep updating it. Which is, which is pretty great. It's a great feature. Luckily, the more recent ones don't do that. Oh, 
Oh, the Shark King. All right, so there is the, the princess. No, nope. okay, so that's the big bad guy. Okay, so this this is the anti pope. Oh yeah, aperture. I don't know if you uh, if you're here like ten minutes ago when I mentioned the the OSSC thing, but the um, the OSSC Pro uh, attachment development board for the. Um, for the DE10, uh, the schematics and code for that are apparently going to be released shortly. Because the the guy who developed the OSSC um, posted a few days ago uh, uh, a picture of the uh, development board, and then he said it, it's going to go up on GitHub pretty soon. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make my own. I uh, I need to order the parts for that and uh, get the board fabricated, but. Uh, I think for for what I do, the the OSC Pro is gonna dramatically improve my um, my capture pipeline with stuff that switches from like 240 to 480. Yeah, the anti pope. I remember that from from European history class. How the anti pope was an actual thing. Like 800 years ago or so. Alright, I need to... Where's my remote? So because I switched systems here, my OSC settings are a little bit different. And it, it looks like like trash right now on my screen. So I gotta figure out which, uh, which of these profiles actually looked okay. Yeah, okay, it's that one. That one looks okay. Okay. to go 1v9 here. I already used up a bunch of their AP. Maybe that, um... Huh. So that did something... something their AP. Okay, so I don't... I guess he's not gonna even join the fight. At least I'm hoping he's not. And good lord, 200... 230 HP? 658 HP? Uh... Oh jeez. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat. All right, he can move through enemy units, so it's not a big deal if I retreat him. All right, so I, ideally I want to get the the front line of red guys to advance and. Uh, okay, I'll let my team just get their their AP back. Now. 
Maybe they'll start advancing on this turn. Okay, good. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Alright, so I want them to come to me. I'm otherwise going to stay put. And take them out one at a time. So I'm I'm thinking back to what what could have happened to the my PSIO there. So what I did was I unplugged and replugged the USB um, controller capture board for my controller thing in and out. And who knows? Maybe that maybe that caused a power surge to the the PSIO and made the a voltage drop just enough to. Um, to mess up the board. Like, maybe the board is fine and it just needs to recover from the... whatever power thing happened to it. Because that's, that's the only thing I did differently. And the PSIO was on when I did that. Um, so it's entirely possible that it's my controller thing that, that's been doing this. Because that's also something that's been a, a common factor between all the other systems. Maybe my shitty wiring has, <laughs> for for that thing, has something to do with things. Because that's another variable when trying to, to debug the stuff, is that I have a lot of custom, custom things like that that I've made myself that nobody else really has. And it makes debugging things more difficult than it should be. And thinking back on it now, that is, that's probably what caused that, uh, that particular failure there. But we'll see. And usually when that happens, it just... If you leave it alone for 24 hours, it, uh... It fixes itself. Is how it usually goes. But we'll see. It shouldn't be causing any issues, though, because I'm not applying any voltage to, to anything weird. I'm just tapping into controller lines, but it, it must be a voltage drop that there's just too much strain on the system. Either that or the capacitors are uh, are getting too weak on the system. That uh, maybe a capacitor just gave out, and perhaps some uh, some fresh caps on that uh, that system will resolve things. And maybe with my other systems too. Like I haven't uh, I haven't replaced any capacitors on any of my systems yet. I've been meaning to do that anyways, so. We'll see if that resolves things at some point. All right, 16% chance we'll uh, we'll get an attack here. 32. All right, we'll we'll play the numbers here. All right, so if you're wondering when Half Life, is, oh shit, of course the knockdown. If you're wondering when Half Life's gonna start, because chances are you probably want to watch Half Life rather than this, it is likely going to be about two, two to two and a half hours from now is when Half-Life will likely start. So, if you need to... If you don't want to watch this, um, Half-Life is likely going to be in two hours. And I don't blame you for not wanting to watch this, because this, uh, I'm just going through the motions on this one. So he's got FP all the way up to 100. I don't know how. Uh, oh, an attack gets you up to... Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't notice that. All right, we'll just avoid... Really hoping those those at least don't aggro. Okay, good. All right, so one of my new units has a FP recovery skill, and I'm probably gonna have to just spam that at the beginning of this fight. Okay, this guy, he's got the. He's at, he's at AP 
What the hell? Huh. I wonder if that's an effect of, uh... Yeah, he's at AP 52. What the hell? This is... really not good. Um... It must be because of that spell the boss casted earlier. Yeah, everybody's capped out at 50 AP. Which is really bad, because, uh... Uh, a lot of my healing spells, or all of my healing spells, take 60. 60 or more. Robo Pope's healing spell is 90, and, uh, the others are 60. Okay, so, so Robo Pope has... is unaffected, it looks like. So that's, uh, that's something at least. Alright, I'm not gonna move my front line at all until I clear out these two guys here. And this is by design, because I... Especially now that I know that, uh... That AP is gonna be an issue. I do not want to aggro those other units. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So, regardless of what I do here, I'm going to be at 100 FP, so I might as well get in a kill, too, while I'm at it. Okay. Alright, so Robo Horse is going to be stunned for a turn, but that's fine. It's a weak spell. that I can just use the strat. This is, uh... Mm. Sure. So now the real problem is once I aggro those other units, because these guys... These red ones are pretty easy, but the, the other ones are significantly stronger than these guys are. And having to fight them with, uh... With no AP is a bit of a problem. Might be able to get in two hits here. Okay. 
I'm still not sure why some of my units have two, uh, can attack twice per turn. Because, like, a lot of, a lot of the stuff in this game just isn't explained. In the manual or anywhere else. Okay. Uh... So Andrew's going to be out of the fight for a while. Of course, 1 HP. Six, six. Man. Uh, okay, 66% six, six is the best chance I could do. Well, some of the attacks only use up, like, like, 20, uh, 20 AP. Like, a, a thrust or whatever it is, the, the one with the plus 20, uh, accuracy. I've been using that for practically the whole game, and it's not like AP has gone above 100 at any point, so I don't know. It's gotta be some, some passive that you get from leveling up. Okay. Uh... So I think I want to get the FP down to zero on my units as best I can. Before trying anything here. This is very nice of the, the enemy units to just kind of not do anything for a while. And it looks like the, the 50 FP cap hasn't hasn't lifted since I took out those other units. Alright, so once we get Andrew down to a decent amount, it should be on this next turn. So now we can... Alright, we'll, we'll advance to one square and see if that aggroes just the, the purple ones. Okay, so it's likely who's right. Those two are my healers, so I gotta keep them back. No, okay. All right, surely they'll have aggroed from that. Seriously? Okay. Really? Like I'm I'm practically close enough to attack at this point. This will surely get them to come on down now. Hopefully it just draws that one. Is it? Is this real life? 
Are they really just gonna let me do this? <laughs> okay. You know what? Fine. The odds, the odds are against me here, so. Okay. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Horseman has that attack as well. So if I move Horseman right there. All right. Strats. Game lets me do it, I'ma do it. It's their fault for not uh, having better AI. And especially considering how strong the, the other units are, like I if if I can just do this, I'm gonna do this. Cause those other other units are no joke. Like those those two red ones and then the and then the boss. Good lord. Plus I'm already disadvantaged here with the the whole restriction on on AP. So I am 100% okay with doing this. Especially since I can't heal. Like if I was able to heal then probably wouldn't be doing this as much. And then this guy is getting getting close to 100 fatigue. So I'm going to have to just rest for a turn anyways. Okay, he's going to be stunned for a turn. That's fine. And then I'm also hoping once I take out those other ones that I'll be able to just move everybody one space forward and then do the same thing. Oops. See, they're able to move. They just choose not to. I also just noticed on the sharking, it looks like one of the, there's an error with the sprites. Like right there, like the, the sprite sheet is off by just a little bit, and there's like three or so pixels that are probably not where they're supposed to be. Okay, well they, they still haven't aggroed yet. Alright, I'm gonna 
take out this this last one here. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's clipping through the wall. That's what's happening. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay. Who left? Okay, so if I go forward one and then over to the right. Okay, all right, the moment of truth. Are these guys gonna aggro? Yep. Oh, oh. Shit. Okay. All right. Yep. Now they have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Is he going to do it? Okay. So next thing to check here is... So he's he's only got 49 AP. He had zero AP at the start of the fight. So maybe... Maybe it's just for this fight, Faulkner has, like, super low AP regenerate? AP regen? I can't like, I can't check out what moves he's got. 128. Alright, range 5. Got really high speed. Like he, he's almost as fast as Andrew. And that, Andrew is extremely fast. Okay. Alright, let's uh... Let's get in there and give him the business, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna put Andrew right here because he can move through enemy units and he can do uh, he can do a back attack. Um, Alden has super high defense, so I'll just camp him out right there. Uh, also, I never checked this. And I like the enemy. Okay. Anything is going to help here against this guy. Okay, good. Uh... So that he's going to go from zero AP FP to ninety. From this and it's hardly gonna put a scratch on him. This is a 70% chance to counter though. So I'ma do it. 70% chance to counter is pretty good. Nice. She's got a ranged attack, however bad it is. Barlow can buff defense. 
Oh, it's not, uh, it's not letting me move behind. Okay, well, this is fine. I can do this, at least. Alright, so we're gonna use him as a debuffer. That's so weird that... So I was able to use Blizzard Break in the fight. I was able to select this in the fight, but not, uh... Not during his, his own turn. Weird. horse man here. again here. It's so weird that this guy is so weak, but he's so good at counterattacks. It must be the, the really high defense stat. twice. So that guy is knocked out. Guaranteed kill here. And... Okay, that'll work. out of the way. So this will get him up to 100 FP. And then I'm assuming, I'm assuming the boss is going to probably run away from the fight after this.
All right, let's see what happens here. I'm really hoping this is the end of the battle and I don't have to just... take turns hitting the boss for an hour. Okay, good. Almost the final showdown. Shark King. Get another unit for this one. This is getting very Gundam now. Ah. Great advice.
Okay. This is the best I can come up with before the final, final stretch here. Chapter 19, the second to last one. Then this nightmare will be over. <laughs> uh, okay, we have access to a shop. What we got? Uh, this is all stuff I could have bought already. Same with all that. Uh, this is... Magic hat, jewels. Family jewels, HP 20, holy shit. Look at that. Sure, I'll take plus one in everything, and then plus 20 HP. That's a, uh, that's a crazy upgrade. Um. Uh, 5K, so I can afford Three? Three or four of those? Let's get three. Perfect. Uh... Alright. Sure. Though... So... There's going to be less of a benefit to that on Bastion, so we'll we'll keep the Dex ring on it. Uh, who'd benefit the most? Like, I think Alden would. Dion would, and he has nothing on anyways right now. Anyways, okay. Uh, Alden. What even does that do? Oh, that's that's like plus everything for that one. That's defense, anyways. Okay. Uh, it's like Barlow and probably Devlin. Oh, well, we're out of them. Uh, actually, she could use. <laughs> She could use armor, she just gets blown up by everything. Okay. Uh, and then I don't really see a point in selling things, but sure, we'll, we'll do that anyways. Uh, are going to be upgrades. Okay. Alright, what's our briefing? Okay. Alright, surely there's more than three enemies. Some of these to not be frowns. Sure. Unlock with balance power. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna make a separate save before we start, just in case things go south. And then let's do it. 
So apparently mission 20 is, is kind of a meme, so this is the, uh, this is the last proper, proper mission in the game. A blue sharking. Oh, it's that guy again. Did they, did they put it on the back of the box? Let's see. And yeah, of course more show up. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. It, they did the same thing again. The, the one time they show an actual in-game stage, it's the end game. <laughs> Fucking work designs. The same thing they did with Alundra. They showed the final boss of Alundra on the back of the box. And the final dungeon. And they... They're doing the same thing again. Uh okay. Okay, well at least at least they're not working with the the super low AP this time. Jeez. Okay. So the the two right there, Devlin, the the two in the center of the screen, those are my two healers. So I need to get them get them away from over there. It's unfortunate that they both spawned right next to each other. Yep. Cuz now this is happening. Oh god. Ninety nine percent chance to hit. Fuck. Oh man. Okay. I gotta get them moved over and healing each other. Okay. Yeah, thirty three. It's not high enough. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the defense stat is what uh what affects counter percentages. That was a 30% chance to hit. <laughs> Come on. Great. She's uh, she's gonna get blown up here because she has super super low defense. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, this is... they really start you off on the back foot here. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna kind of consolidate my units here. Self-sacrifice? If, it would be nice if I knew what that did, but it, it seems like it looks like that's a self-destruct attack from the looks of things. Huh. Okay. I'll we'll just camp them out there. Alright, so this is what I was afraid of, that those guys were gonna activate. Man, they have really high, uh, Really high decks, it looks like. Oh boy.
Oh boy. He's already up to 60 FP. Okay, good. If, if that guy aggroed too, then this would have been a big problem. So I, I think I figured out what that uh, that green or the teal square in front of um, some of these units is. I think that's the menace the menace skill. And what I think it does is if you have to move in or out of that square, it uses up extra AP. Which is why I couldn't like uh, I couldn't move uh, behind the sharking. Because it's it's got it's menacing in all directions, and it was uh, not letting me here skill. It would have used up too much AP to let me uh, move around behind that uh, that other sharking. Okay, I think we're good there. Really hoping this kills. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this one to... to notice me. Notice me sharking, Senpai. And then Reina, good luck. Yep, this is par for the course for Reina. Ah, uh, gave her this nice, nice mech and everything. See how strong this guy is. Bursting fire, dang. So that use. Wow. Okay. All right, hold on. So that's got range three on it. Okay, and it's a knockdown. Void isn't isn't really gonna help either, because it's it's still pretty much guaranteed to hit. And I can't really quicksand these guys because they have that uh, that ranged attack. Of course it knocked down. Fucking hell. Hey Cloud. Okay, well, the result would have been the same if I avoided or counterattacked. Uh 
Uh oh, this is this is probably gonna be a one shot. Damn near. Yep. All right, ninety percent chance to hit. Or I can move him up here and start healing FP for that guy. But I should probably take care of business with this one. could get this guy's FP up to... Okay, so that that gets it up to 87. Can I do anything here that will... What is my best possible option here? 87. And counterattack with cutting mules. That's strong slash. Still up to 87. Okay, I, th I think I want to go something with the highest hit chance. And it's likely gonna be this. Please hit. Please. Okay. Alright, so the damage is nice, but I was really going for is FP damage to the sharking here. So it'll get to 100 FP soon enough. And then Bastion's almost to 100 FP. That's not gonna. That's not gonna help much either. Thirty-five FP. Okay, so we'll just we'll just go for the avoid here. Nineteen percent chance to avoid. So naturally, we're gonna avoid, right? All right. At least the game's consistent. And then we just gotta do it again. Uh oh, he's at hundred FP. Uh, I'm gonna go for the defend here. Because I don't want to make a bad situation worse. And avoiding, it's still pretty much guaranteed to hit. Regardless. Or I could counterattack, because I'm gonna be at 100 anyways. So I'll, I'll hit him with this. Because we're, we're gonna be 90 or 100 FP anyways. eventually go over there and save him. Uh, so I'm not sure if I want to quick sand. Okay. Alright, that'll at least help things. Keep her alive. Gonna have to do this. I can't afford to be losing units. Alright, horseman. Man. Yeah, she's doing something at least. Okay. All 
right, horseman. Clearly, you need more decks because you you can't hit the broadside of a barn half the time. Okay, we can have Barlow get the kill here. Okay, 31. Seven. 99, but won't kill. 74. 74%. Come on. Come on. Okay. Finally killed one. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. It's going to pull up to a hundred if I do that. Oh boy. I really got to just get all my units together. Nice if I could do that. Can I move here then? No, nope, still 50 AP. Dang, I gotta be like right next to him to do the AP recovery. Finally make use of our our super high counter rate on this guy. Okay. Alright, one nineteen. Okay, Barlow. Really need you to Heal her. As useless as she is.
All right. If I could just get all of my units in the same area, then we'll be okay. But unfortunately, Robo Pope is uh, exposed right now, and they're not attacking him. Okay. All right. One of them just didn't attack. It did me a solid there. Okay. They could have easily finished him off. And Robopope would have been out of the fight. Well, okay. It looks like that's happening now. No? Okay. Oh, but don't kill my other healer, though. I really need Devlin's turn to come up here. That's not gonna work. That's gonna be too much FP gone. That guy's at full health. 90... Yeah, I think I just gotta go for the defend here. Okay, so if I was if if I was gonna do this mission over again from the configuration screen, I would probably buy some healing, some more healing things. Ooh, can I even can I even heal Robo Pope? Okay, it looks like he's gonna get his turn, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't even heal Robo Pope. Oh man. Man. 46, but it will kill. That, jeez, that's plus 20 to hit. Okay, I... Come on, please hit. So I can, I can at very least do this. This guy's almost dead anyways. Thirty-six, and it's an avoid. It's like, it's not even in a void. Oh, for fuck's sake. What can I even do here? Like, I can go over here and... and... and do nothing. Oh, man. I just, I don't have any good options here. Okay, can I possibly kill any of these? Alright, I might be able to, to lightning strike this guy. Oh man, even if I hit him twice with a lightning strike, that's not going to kill. Aim for that guy. Is it gonna give him FP a hundred? No. 
Whoa, man. Sit down. Jeez, I... I think this is my best option. Do this. Because just moving him around is not going to help matters. Yeah, there's way too much health left on that guy to, to make a difference. Yeah, 10 HP left. Oh, man. Shit. I think I screwed up by, uh... Okay. So if I end their turn and just defend for a couple turns... Uh, oh, also... Can I get this guy with a Turbulence? And at the very least, save Devlin. Alright, 68% chance to hit. We need to save our healer. That's like priority one. We can't lose a healer. Okay. Alright. And of course this is gonna spawn another one, but that's... That's future problems there. Okay, yeah, that's right there. Um... And then he's already got super high FP, so... And this will max out his FP. That's fine because I'll be able to to fix that with my other character who's nearby. This is going great. This is going fantastic. And now, oh, oh. Well, there goes one of my two healers. One of my three healers. And soon enough, Robopope's gonna be down. Okay. Alright, I gotta send him in to, to help out Robopope. I made some some tactical errors at the start of this bat this battle that things are really well I can't even yet okay this is twenty percent chance to avoid is what I gotta hope for here hey. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this is by far and away the toughest, uh, toughest scenario in the game so far. Alright, 10% chance to avoid. Alright, Robopope down. Oh, and that 
that's... Oh. Okay. Huh. Apparently you need him for that, uh, for that scenario. Okay, well. At least that got that over with quicker than drawing it out. Okay, so... We're doing things differently. Oh, I want to load the second one. Shit. For doing things differently. Though actually, I might want to load the first one just because I have more money to buy stuff. So... What I want to do... 28k. So it was... It was Tiger's Eye, I believe? Oh, yeah, Earthstone. So... No cash for that item. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have one extra healer here. And And you know what? Of, of course, okay. Alright. We're we're getting you out of that thing, Reyna. Okay, Reyna. You get the Uh You get that thing. Congratulations, it's yours. Okay. Tiger's Eye. Alright, Rena. Since you're so fucking useless otherwise, you're now the third healer. <laughs> uh... And do we have a slightly better... I think I need to... Oh, whatever. She's... Whatever. What she's got, she's got. Okay, so now... Now knowing what I know about this mission... First thing I need to do is move all my units to the south, uh, the bottom right part of the map. And especially Robopope. So I have to have all my units just in, in a big circle. With at least one healer within range of pretty much everybody. Okay. That's guaranteed to hit. Also guaranteed to hit. Great. That that's great that this that's how this fight's just gonna start off every single time. So agility is is dodge ability. We'll at least do that. Okay, so we'll have him. Keep an eye on the healers. And then, ideally, Robopope does not get completely destroyed at the beginning of the, the fight, but... Oh, it looks like I just gotta keep defending until I'm able to fall back to a safer spot. Or for what counts as a safer spot in this encounter.
Because unfortunately, that, um... That, uh, the menace ability really screws up things. Because it, it limits my ability to, to retreat here. Okay. say we want to leapfrog our healers, but can't quite do that. That. Move horseman here. Okay. This is Crusader King things. Ideally, Sharkings will start to move in here. Okay. Alright, this is what I wanted them to do. Alright, counter rate 50 50. Okay, so 50% chance to counter. Flip that coin. So we failed the counter, but we... We parried anyways? Alright. Okay. Looks like defending is probably my best option here. So next over here, I want to just get my healers next to each other and get them to heal each other. Okay. Maybe that, that attack that I had her in before was screwing things up. Either that or that, that agility buff actually did something. We don't want him counterattacking and cutting the goal because that does way too much damage. Okay. That was a 90% chance to hit. Come on. Seventy-one percent chance to hit. <sighs> like I, I don't think I'm under leveled or anything, because because it's not like I've been avoiding battles or anything. This is frustrating. These guys are just really powerful.
Yep. Yeah, that's good old XCOM coin flips. Very heavy coins on one side of these coins. All right, we can't afford to, to get FP to 100 on RoboPope. Uh, it'd be nice if I could move my, spin my units in place, but can't have nice things. So he's not going to counterattack with Cutting Wheel, which is good. Yeah, I went. Yep, the good old 95% plus the the hidden hidden modifier. Oh man, I really wish I could swap places with Robo Horse here. Because I, I need to heal my other healer. Shit. Robo Horse, get out of the way. Uh, and I don't want to expose Barlow's back either. What will this do? Okay, so that's that's going to be a counterattack. So that one won't be counterattacked, and he'll get his FP up. Okay, it's likely the best I can do. Why can he only move one square? What the hell? Okay, it must be the weird menace ability. Okay. Yep, 13%. I had a, uh, at the end of the playthrough of this last night, the last part of this, um, there was a 2% chance to, uh, to have something miss, and then a 10% chance to hit. And I got both of them. <laughs> And it was on like the one of the the level bosses. It was extremely unlikely for something to have happened that happened last time. But it did. Okay, so he's got really low FP, so I I can kind of get away with with this. And if if this hits. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to get that guy's FP up to 100, and this will save my other healer. So I'm going to do this, even though it'll bring his health down to half. I'm going to win the FP battle here. Robo Pope alone. Uh, so FP's at 36. That's that's a little high considering he's going to be attacked by three things. So I'll uh, I'll avoid that one. Oh, please don't do cutting wheel. Okay, good. Not on that one. This one. Okay, so this will get him up to a hundred again. But that's that's okay. 
Okay. Actually, no, that's not okay. Uh... Ooh, this guy's got 94 HP. Okay, so I think what I want to do is... I want to leave the one that has 100 FP e for now. And I, I need to take advantage of the downtime. Now that I know that the, there's going to be reinforcements every single time I end up killing one. Heal Barlow. Keep our healers alive. Eh? Uh, so who's in FP trouble here? Well, okay, Robo Pope's got 36. 37. Okay, so we're... We're still kind of okay in terms of FP. So I, I do need to heal Robopope soon, so I'll, uh... I'll just leave this guy here for now and do this. Okay, and this will max out the FP for this unit. So we'll, we'll leave this one here for now. And concentrate on the others while healing up everybody else. Okay, we're gonna have to heal Horseman relatively soon. Always baffles me when they just don't do anything for a turn. And there isn't a good reason for it either, because they, yeah, they're at zero FP, like, <laughs> and 40 AP. I guess they're they're trying to do some big attack. All right, 71 versus 78. 7 so They're both gonna hit for a lot. That one for slightly more. Sure. Okay. So I, I need to not make any strategic mistakes here. And I also need good luck. Great. Actually, we'll... Go on the all on the decks. A strong hit's no good if it if it can't actually hit. Okay. Cutting wheel, which is not good. I don't want him doing cutting wheel. That, that hits for a lot. And I can't hardly ever avoid it. fighting game with music like the the combat music in this you think it would, it would be like a Super Nintendo fighting game or, or Genesis like that kind of uh, that kind of era Wild Arms? Wild Arms isn't a fighting game it's a uh, it's an RPG on PS1 and PS2 
a PS1 fighting game with music like that. Mm. Nothing really comes to mind for me. Probably better off saving my my HP and FP here. And I can at least increase Devlin's defense. Well, your battle music. Like, I, I know this music reminds me of a Chrono Trigger track. And also, kind of Grand Stream Saga as well. Okay. Go for the, the big hit here. And hope for the best. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm racking my brain here trying to think of all the PS1 fighting games that I played and, and this doesn't quite uh, ring a bell for me. Ah, uh, 40% is really high for the counter, so I'll, I'll roll the dice here. We got a healer right next to us, so this is... Weird. That, huh. That's so weird. So it's like we, we get a half counter, I guess? Yep, the banjo. Yeah. Okay, so this guy, that guy finally woke up. Um, the horseman needs to, needs to heal here. Great, that's, that's a bad trade. Uh, man, these are all bad trades. I really hope I can heal Horseman soon. Uh... Okay, so that's... That's a... Okay, this will get this guy up to 100 FP again. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting a different result there. It So that this was a counterattack before. And now it changed over to this guy defending. So This is very very weird. Um Okay. We'll rest our horseman. Okay. So this is it's strong slash, so that'll that'll knock him down if I try to attack, so we'll We'll just do this. Yep. So if you get knocked down you can't attack anyways. So don't even bother, he'll just use up FP for no good reason. Alright, so we gotta heal up Robo Pope here. Might as well raise Robocop's defense. Yep, the self-destruct alarm is going off on the banjo. Better take care of that. Okay. So this this one I can I can afford to kill. I just gotta be prepared for where the next one's gonna spawn. And I gotta be really economical with my, my FP now. Now that I know this is gonna be a slog. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll do this. Okay, so there's one down. And that should probably... Okay, let's... let's Cooling Mist. Um... That's, that's probably the best thing I can do right now. Yeah. And I can probably get away with this. So this is 5 FP for a decent amount of damage. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we're still gonna have three, three enemies over here. Okay, there's two down. Okay, good. That is the ideal place to spawn. Okay. Good, good. That means it's not casting the, the wheel thing. Um... 65% chance. That's not worth it. Okay, I'm gonna go for the avoid here. 65% chance, so practically zero. Of course. So that guy's got like maxed out defense and and agility. Uh okay, we gotta heal horseman. Though shit, I probably should have healed Barlow and then have Barlow heal Horseman. Oh well, mistakes are made. <laughs> um Alright, we can increase his defense at least. I know I can always check, like here it shows exactly the, the turn order that everything happens in, and you can, you can really plan out in advance how everything's gonna go, but I got no time for that. Hello Anime Steven Seagal, welcome. Okay, uh, so Barlow, so we're just gonna have our healers keep healing each other, and so far that's been working pretty good. The thrilling conclusion of this thriller. Well, there's already been a thrilling conclusion tonight. My, uh, my, my other PlayStation blew up. I'm currently playing this on a PS1 off a disc because my fucking PSIO exploded again. <laughs> I, I started up the game. Uh, I got into the load menu and it said, hey, you don't have a memory card inserted when I clearly do. Uh, so I, I got up and pulled the memory card out so I could pull it out and put it back in to get it to read it. And then when I did that, the console turned off. <laughs> uh, so then I, I hit the power button again to turn it back on and it, it booted to the regular PlayStation BIOS. <laughs> so my fucking PSIO lasted uh, three streams this time. Amazing. Amazing. Just... Just fuck that thing. Ugh. But I, I now have some theories as to how... How and why things are blown up with it, but it's... Oh, God. <laughs> no, it, it is... It's... You can absolutely 100% laugh about it, because it is... It is fucking hilarious that this keeps happening. I think it's funny. It's just also really frustrating at the same time. Like, why does this keep happening? And I, I'm pretty sure it's because of my weird, uh, 
controller monitor thing that I've I've hacked together. Because that that's got to be why. Because right before I um or once I got into the game, or I was on the PSIO menu, I unplugged the USB plug for my controller monitor thing, and I plugged it back in because I need to reset it to get it to work properly. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what screwed up things, and that maybe um, maybe the load of all the things attached to my PS1 is drawing too much power inside of it, and maybe a, a capacitor or something went in it. Um, because I, uh, uh, I'm still using on all my systems the original capacitors. And it's entirely possible that, uh... That this is just a, um... Uh, capacitor problem in all my, uh, all my systems. And that's, that's easy to fix, but I, one, I need the replacement capacitors, and then two, I have to physically get my hot air gun and remove the old capacitors with hot air and tweezers and then put on new ones. Um, and I, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. So, I've, I've been meaning to do that anyways, so this this works out and gives me a really good excuse to do so. Uh, and I'm I'm really hoping that that fixes it. If it doesn't, then... then I don't know. Yeah, it, it always depends on what dies. And, like, I have the equipment and the skills to to repair stuff like that, but I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not repair it if I don't have to, because it's... Like, as much as I kind of enjoyed doing it, it's it's still a pain in the ass. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have Robo Pope heal up our healer. So we got four healers on our team right now. She can heal Robo Pope. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I've had I've had decent luck with my uh, my PS2s. Like the lasers are sometimes uh, not as good as I'd like them to be. Just not have her do anything. Actually, I can do this. Okay. Alright, so I don't need a strong thrust there. Get away with this. Alright. Okay, so so if anybody's missed how this, this level goes... So you start off this level surrounded by these really powerful mechs, and then once you defeat one, another one spawns in as reinforcements. Like, there. There's, there's another one. So that's the... Either the third or the fourth one that I've taken out so far. Um, and they, it started out with, I think, eight? Eight of them? On the field? Okay. And ideally, I want to... Okay, so they're just defending. Defending. Played upside down. Well, the, the thing is with PS2s, if you... If you move the console at all while the disc is in there, um, because the laser is so close to the disc, it's just gonna... It's gonna grind a big circle in your disc. Do I need to... Hold up. What's the FP looking like here? No, oh, this is still okay on FP.
Yeah, people going bonkers trying to get PS2. Yep, I remember that too. I think I was... 15 or 16 when that came out. And I think my mom actually just, uh... Got one for me when it came out. She could just, I think on the, on the day of... She just went to a Toys R Us and then just... Just straight up just bought one. Right off the shelf. Didn't have to wait in a line or reserve it or anything. Man, I can't remember what happened with that one. I think the laser died on it or... Or I tried to put in a mod chip on it back in the day. Like... Boy, was that an ambitious project trying to... Trying to do a, a mod chip as your first... A PS2 mod chip as your first install. With no soldering experience at all. That's uh... That went about as well as uh... To be expected. Okay, so... I gotta heal up Horseman. I'm gonna keep uh... Moving all my forces down into the same little area over here so they could all be hit by the, the FP recovery move all at once. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this. So, what this might mean. Oh shit, he's gonna be at 100. Okay, so what this might mean is that the reinforcements are done spawning. So this is this is what I'm hoping is going to be the case here. Trying to upsell for an Xbox. Well, it it to be honest, it, by the time the Xbox came out, it kind of was the better buy because uh, besides like the the platform exclusives, the games are almost always better on uh, on Xbox for the ones that got multi platform ports. Like, the, the, the GameCube versions had better textures. The Xbox versions had better resolution, I think? Uh, and sometimes better frame rate. And then the PS2 version was like, yep, this works. You can play it. And it'll look really blurry. Okay, so there's, there's no additional reinforcements. Okay. Good. Um... All right, who needs healing? And yeah, not to mention how easy it was to, to modify an Xbox in comparison to the other systems back then. Uh, okay. What should I do here? Hmm. I guess I can put the defense buff back on Bastion. first PS2 game. So when I got mine, I, for the US release, I got Madden 2000, 2001 or 2002, uh, SSX, and I think that was it for the ones that I, I had when it came out. Maybe Ridge Racer? Your first PS2 game was the bouncer. All right, good. You, you started off with the best game on the on the platform. The bouncer. Uh. 
Now we're doing on FP. Pretty okay on FP. Yeah. Yeah, the bouncer is great. Like that's that's on the to-do list to play again as part of PS2 Hot for TV. <laughs> and I actually booted that one up not too long ago, not on stream or anything, just just on my own. And it is quite the still quite the video game. Uh. Yeah, like memes aside, it is a it is a good game. I played through it a whole bunch of times to unlock all the weird stuff. Sixty-five. Mm. Yeah. Come on, please sit. Okay. One HP. Fuck out of here. Okay, well, it's gonna get him to 100 FP, anyways. But, man. Oh, that's not worth the extra FP load it's gonna put on me, though. I do need to take him out of the fight, though, and this this will do that. Okay. You haven't played the bouncer. Well, what are you doing? Just get it out and play through it right now. I, I guarantee you'll be able to beat the game before I beat this mission. It's, uh, it is not long. Uh, 78 FP is not great. But this is the only thing that can hit him besides a ranged attack. So we'll we'll do this. Uh, they did make a sequel. It's called Kingdom Hearts. Sixty percent. This battle's starting to go a little sideways here. Uh... The Bouncer was also your first PS2 game? Nice. Y'all have excellent taste in, uh... First PS2 games, I approve. Okay, don't want to get hit by cutting them all. Buff defense, at least. Like, I, I specifically went out and, and purchased the bouncer when it came out, just on the on the clout of it is a great-looking Square Enix game, and I really liked Final Fantasy VIII. Therefore, I will buy the bouncer. And I did. But that said, like, the first, the first PS2 game, and I guess game for anything, that I... Man, what, what the hell is this, these blocks? Um, the first game that I went out of my way to get on launch day, or attempt to get on launch day, was Metal Gear Solid 2 on PS2. And that was back then when, um, when it was kind of up in the air on, on when the actual release day was. Like, there was, there's of course an official release day, uh, but whether or not your local store will get it by that day was was never a sure thing back then. <laughs> so I remember having to go back to the, uh... What do I want here? Let's do... Let's do death. Having to go to the local Circuit City, like, every single day, and ask the... them multiple times a day, like, hey, did you get your shipment in yet of Metal Gear? And there was, like, there's a bunch of other people that I, I saw every day do the same thing. Of going to the store and asking them if they got Metal Gear yet. Okay, so this will get him to 100 FP. And that'll be good enough. 
Yeah, and this this is in the dark ages, so like you know when a game has gone gold, but but there's no guarantee you're gonna get that game when it was actually <laughs> released for public public stuff. Okay. All right, so Andrew's nearly dead. Let's see. Get a back back in here. Uh, actually, we will leave them here. And. We can get rid of this guy at least. The bouncer wrecking you? Well, the, the thing that I remember being tricky with the bouncer was it used, um, it used the pressure sensitive button thing on, on a PS2 controller where the, um, there's actually, uh, the, the buttons, all the face buttons and the D-pad and the shoulder buttons are pressure sensitive on a PS2 and the value is from 0 to 255 on it, so it can actually detect how hard you're pressing on each of the buttons. And uh, in the bouncer, I believe it changed which moves you use depending on how how hard you press the buttons. And I think that made some of the some of the inputs trickier than they needed to be in that game. And that was that was probably one of the few games that probably would have been better off not having the weird button pressure inputs. Uh, should keep her alive. Let's do that. Keep the healers alive. Please hit. This is 99% chance to hit. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright. How's the party doing on FP? Yeah, we're still okay. Okay enough. Yeah, Metal Gear 2 had uh, pressure sensitive aiming. That was a good use of it. Uh, most racing games had uh, pressure sensitivity for uh, throttle and brake. For those. Uh, there was a rhythm game called Mad Maestro, which is a fantastic game that uh, you only had to press one button for the rhythm game, but that one button was pressure sensitive. Uh, I think I want this. Oh boy. So you could just, you could play the whole game just tapping X, or cross, for Mad Maestro, but you had to vary the amount of pressure to, to do the notes properly for this, um, for that game. And that game is a, a classical music conducting game, is what Mad Maestro is, and it's fantastic. What a great game. Uh, okay. I believe I might be able to kill him. This. Alright, sure, let's do this. Yeah, I think in Metal Gear Solid 2 you could also, um, if you grabbed a guard and you lightly tapped the square button, it would uh, knock him out, but if you if you really jammed on it, it would break their neck. The different, uh, how it worked in um, in the first game. Okay, well this is this is gonna get him up to a hundred anyway, so I think I'll 
Oh, it's a regular slash. Okay. Um. Sure. We'll just do this. Is there really only a... So we got three regular Sharkings left and then the boss that, that doesn't look any more difficult than the regular ones. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Zach. I am still on this level. <laughs> uh, things are looking good, at least for this one. I too am ready for Half-Life, but we, we still have to get through this. But at least the the final level is a meme. Yep, PS2 is pressure sensitive buttons. Um, I th I think they're also pressure sensitive on a DualShock 3 on a PS3, but hardly anything used it, because they they switched kind of over to um, to the incredible six-axis system instead for the for the weird inputs. Um, and then for DualShock 4, they remove the pressure sensitivity. For, probably for cost reduction reasons. I had to guess, and, and less complexity for designs. Okay. Chaos. Uh, yeah, hardly anything used pressure sensitivity on PS2, and it's like it's only in games that is specifically called it out and used it that you even notice that it was a thing. Uh, I'll just avoid. This is this is probably fine. Touch screens is a stupid, stupidest gimmick on the the incredible Vita system. Yeah, that's probably up there. Uh, I'd argue that Pocket Station is is probably up there too. And depending on opinions on VR, PSVR might also be up there too. Though I I love VR. It's just uh. Still not quite there yet. So that said, on the 23rd, I'm going to be streaming a VR game, and actually before then. Uh. All right. So he needs healing. So does Devlin. Yeah, the the touchpad on um, on DualShock Four, like it it's a neat concept, but it doesn't really add enough utility. It's it's instead just used more like one big ass button on the controller. You ready for VR? So am I. Like I, um, there used to be a company called Virtual World that uh, they had these sit-down VR um, cabinets in malls 
that you could play like uh, um, essentially Mech Warrior, just in the middle of the mall. <laughs> um, okay, we'll do this. Uh, and then, uh, so it was, like, it was like Simplified Mech Warrior was the one just in the mall, like where you'd have have a Dipping Dots, a, a store that sells watches, or a cart that sells watches, and then here's these two enormous VR things that you strap yourself into. Um, that are more like a chair. Uh, and then, and then in downtown San Diego, or, or downtown-ish, um, there was a, a proper building, a building slash store, that was just kind of like a converted warehouse. Um, also for Virtual World, where they kept like, I think it was 12 or so of these enormous box things, uh, that you would physically get into, and they'd slide it shut, and it had a CRT screen in front of you, this pretty big one. Um, it had like a full steel battalion controller set up. Um, and it was like this crazy 6v6 multiplayer uh, mech warrior game. I think it was a licensed mech warrior game. But I think it was it was like 40 bucks or something for an hour of playtime in it. And they also had this, like, this hovercraft racing thing called, like, Escape to Mars or something. Um, that wasn't anywhere near as cool. Uh, at the place. Because I, I know the company that, that made the one in the mall was a British company. Uh, and they, um, they also had another variation of it where it was, like, it was a thing you stood in with a ring around you and you had a, a gun thing. A gun thing and a headset. Um, and that was called virtual virtuality, virtuality. Uh, so I never I never played the stand up one, but I played the sit down one for that, and that was that was cool as hell. And this was like in the mid nineties, by the way. <laughs> this is like over twenty years ago. Um, and I've been ready for VR ever since then. Here. Hey. Machine Yellow. I, I think the one that I used was red, I want to say. And this is in Chicago. Was when I did the sit-down one in the mall. And then the the virtual world mech warrior thing was in uh in Mission Valley in San Diego in the uh I I wanna say late 90s for that one. Get FP to 100. Not yet, at least. Alright. So, so far, this guy, all, of my, all I've been doing is just using his strongest attack over and over again. And he's just incapacitated for half the battle. Locking children in tiny gaming cabinets? Yeah. Well, it was, it was the 90s. Standards are different. Plus, it was like, it was half children and half, like, half adults that were really into it. Like, I probably would have been way into it as an adult. But it's like, here's this, this 45-year-old guy who, who plays this thing multiple times a day every weekend and spends thousands of dollars on this. Uh, and then here's little Jimmy, fresh out of, fresh out of daycare, here to be your squad mate in, <laughs> in expensive mech warrior. <laughs> Because I think they, they did actually have, like, leagues for that, where you could you join a fire team and and hang out and pilot mechs with your bros. Okay. Alright. It looks like we finally beat this level. Yep, good old Virtual Boy. I have a Virtual Boy, and I have, uh... Um, I have capture things for it, so whenever I eventually stream Virtual Boy stuff, It'll actually be in stereoscopic 3D. It's not going to be in red and black though, because um, I value your eyesight. I'll still be seeing it in in red. 
but for the the feed that's going to be out on stream and captured in stereo 3D, uh, that's going to be in uh, black and white. Black and white grayscale. And yeah, Virtual Boy is cool. Virtual Boy actually has one of the best D-pads uh, on a controller that I've ever used. Like, no joke. You know, watch it with 3D goggles? Yes. Yep. It uses the, uh, um, the cardboard API, I think? Uh, so yeah, you could, you could use Google Cardboard, you could use, um, a proper 3D headset like an Oculus or a, a Vive, uh, a Valve Index, you can use a Google Daydream, you can use the the ones that don't cost anything, you could use Anaglyph, the, the red and blue glasses to watch it. It's it's very versatile, the software thing that, uh, that I use for it. I should probably post some demo footage at some point for, uh, for testing, but it does work. And same for like 3DS. I use the same thing for uh, for 3DS streaming, because I can capture that in 3D. Strike. Okay, we got a new, a new attack from this guy finally. All right, that's 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 a pretty cool looking attack. Sharking. It's just us and Falconer. Okay. Oh. All right, there's the princess. Boxing game looks like the best game, Teleboxer. Yeah, Teleboxer is really good. Uh, Wario, uh, Wario Land, a virtual, virtual Wario Land, is apparently very good. There's also the first, uh, the first Western released uh, SMT game it was actually on the Virtual Boy, and it's called Jack Bros, where it is, it's like a weird. Uh, maze game uh it's not very good like it, it's really bad in fact uh but it is super rare uh for the um the north american version so a cartridge for uh a legit original cartridge for jack bros is like hundreds of dollars <laughs> oh boy and unfortunately, the there is a guy who's developing and, and has developed a flash cart for, uh, for Virtual Boy. But he, he keeps just delaying it nonstop. And I would have made my own, but the guy, the guy says he's, he's going to release, like, schematics and all, all that. But um, then he decided he's going to release his own and then didn't release the schematics, so... I guess I can't get mad about that, because that, that's up to him, whether or not he wants to release the the schematics and parts list and code for all that stuff, but it was it was kind of a weird bait and switch. Everyone gets their own mech. Pretty much everybody. 
Our waifu didn't get a mech? Uh... But that's about it. And this is... That's Yoda Lady, the one the the center of the screen. It talks like Yoda for some reason. Halleck. No point to having a flash cart? Well, the point to having a flash cart is that even though there's like 20 games on the system, each one costs like $200. <laughs> That's why. Except for like the really common ones. Yeah, there is a Waterworld Virtual Boy game. I don't think it was ever released. But the ROM did get dumped. And yeah, there's like, uh, even people to this day are still developing homebrew uh, Virtual Boy games. Kind of like how Dreamcast is still getting, getting indie releases. People are doing that for the Virtual Boy. <laughs> uh... Yeah, they, they figured out how to do the link cable stuff with that, uh, that link cable port. Yeah, step one of lurk linking two virtual boys is to find another person with a virtual boy. Easier said than done. Uh oh, this this is getting very anime now. Yeah, the, the, the PS2 or PS1 has to have the link port on it, the serial port, which um, the late models of the big PS1 don't actually have that port on it. They kept the parallel port, but they took out the serial port. And then they did the same thing with PS2. Like, there's this iLink port on the front of the PS2, where the USB ports are, that are there for some of the PS2 models, like the early ones, but then they got rid of it for related ones and it's just this um this firewire port on the the front of the ps2 and then they figured out hey the network and ethernet jack exists just use that much easier <laughs> no need for this weird custom port yeah firewire all right sure I, I don't know why you would decline having her join your party like this. Have another body to throw at, throw at the robots. Sure, come along. I am quite sure.
But of course, we don't get access to the shop. Okay. All right. Uh, I gotta use the bathroom, so I'll step away for a minute. And then we will run through the tape on this boring anime game. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a minute. Let's run through the tape here, shall we? Okay, so I already saved. Oh, just one unit. Oh man. Uh sure. Okay. Sure. That's the same thing he told me last time. Uh Okay. This is the final mission. This is it. This is the only thing standing between us and not having to play this game anymore. With that said, there's, there's two other campaigns in this game. I'm not going to play them. I'm just, I want to point out that there, there are additional campaigns for this game. Should anybody be watching this? And they they want more of this game. They can't get enough of it. There is more to it. But you do have to beat this campaign first before you can unlock the other ones. Okay. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's that guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, old lady is, is the bad guy now. She's brainwashed. This guy is the big bad guy. So if you've ever seen um, Gundam Wing, this is the, the Epion. To make an anime parallel, I guess. This thing can control other other units. Which I think Epion can. That's what it does to mind control. Oh, great. Am I going to be at 50... Uh... 50 AP again? Oh. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Can I cheese this again? Not quite. Okay. Alright, so if I don't move... Yes, feel my steel. I'm getting up to this high FP this early in the fight. Yep, that battle music. It it might be Destrega. Maybe it's Destrega is what you're thinking of. Okay, so. I'm going to see if I can cheese this, kind of like I did last time. Okay. Like if I can, if I can keep my units far enough away from the other ones to not get them to the aggro, kind of like I did last time. Oh, great. Well, that... That puts an end to that, then. I can't... Oh, God. She's gonna aggro everything else on the map. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, shit. Well, I guess we're... I guess we're going all in, then. Alright, I need to... Do an... He refresh on Bastion. Yep. works 50 50 yeah that's th that is a great reason to not bring her with me
weird that it doesn't let me select them right at the, right at the start. Shit, I didn't want to... Okay. Fine. Okay, good. At least they haven't, uh, they haven't aggroed yet. He's going to be at 100 death key. We can safely take out both of these. I just hope the Imperial Princess doesn't do anything stupid before then. Be close enough to <laughs> to aggro the others. She just had to reposition. Ah, uh, shit. Guess we'll find out shortly. Okay. Um. Guaranteed kill. Guaranteed. Even though it's 100%, you never know. Yep, okay. As I figured, but this is fine because we're... We're ready for them anyways. Just as long as we don't aggro the other one. Then that would be a problem. Okay. That's fine, it's just the other ones I don't want. I don't want moving. Chance of zero. Uh, so even though I got four healers here, I'm still not <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Good. They did not aggro yet. Mm. Let's do that. Sure, for a strategy game, yeah, I, I know. 
Well, uh, it could have been worse. Initially... Initially... This could have been, as the manual said, uh, with almost 60 missions and five unique endings, your social life will disappear without a trace. And best part is you won't care. I don't know. I don't know. But but yeah, the, the back of the box says there's 60 missions, and that is that is technically accurate, but it's more like there's 20 missions for each campaign. Okay, I think I want to just... I want to leave all my units right here so we don't aggro the, the big boys. Uh, there's not only a B-side, there's a C-side as well. And apparently the the secondary campaign, uh, it's called the Empire Route. This is the Kingdom Route. The Empire Route is the the second set of missions. And then the third set of missions is Secret, and that's the Ruins um, campaign. And apparently the, the Empire campaign is the best out of the three by a long shot. Uh, so, so great. And then the Ruins one is weird enough to be better than better than this one. So, uh, unfortunately, it, from what I gather, the the default campaign that you get is like the worst out of the three. <laughs> uh, and sometimes it'd be like that. Okay. Oh, no, don't you... Oh. <laughs> Princess. I should have just locked her in. I should have surrounded her with friendly units. And she, she still would have been able to move, but... Oh, God. Princess, what have you done? This will probably be able to attack with... Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, looking forward to another 18 hours. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to play the other campaigns. Like, I'm only gonna do the Kingdom Route, and that's it. I'm going to move on with my life. Alright, well, the Princess already moved up, so I guess this is... This is our life now. Yeah, this this battle where I want to be as safe and conservative as possible also gives you an NPC that just does whatever they want. <laughs> Great. I could have taken this slow and steady and, and pulled them one by one, but instead the princess does what she wants. Uh... Yeah, great, great, cool. Now they aggroed. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. Okay, well this this guy has a, a self-sacrifice attack. I don't know what it does, but he has one and we might be, we might be finding out what it does shortly. <laughs> All right, so I gotta, I gotta go save, save big boy here. And I can't, because I don't have enough... Great, okay, well this this will save him from one set of attacks at least. And I can increase his defense. That's something. Oh, cool, he's not moving yet. Alright, we lucked out. Okay, who needs healing? Nobody. Okay. 
I'll leave that healer over there then. All right, horseman. Let's give him the business. Gate versus. All right, strike it in. Get this guy up to 100 FP, and that'll be just as good as taking him out of the fight. And... That okay? I need the cooling mist fire guy. Do this twice, and I think this will kill. No, it won't kill. And I can't do it twice anyway, it's great. Okay. This will get her knocked out. The blood fountains, yeah. They just kind of do the... the rays of light and then disappear thing, which is a little disappointing. I think Kodelka did a good job with the blood fountains, too. If I remember correctly, it's been... It's been long enough that I've forgotten what that game was, uh, was like. Uh, no, you can't target friendlies in this. They don't let you do that. But I am, I'm pretty okay with that. There's also no AOE attacks either in this game, which is a little weird. I've never played Final Fantasy Tactics, so I wouldn't know. Also, don't spoil that game for me. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Oh, of course. Oh, great. And now Big Boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Yeah. All right, two percent chance to miss. Well, this is this suddenly got way more difficult. God, that's, this will get him up to 100 FP though, if I do that. I 
and then I can I can easily take him out then. Okay, so what's yeah, we'll do that. So we'll we'll do the highest chance to hit. Seventy-two. Okay, yes, we want to get this guy up to 100 FP. Okay. Okay. Alright, good. That's, that's actually the desired result there. Uh-oh, this is not the desired result, though. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Guys are fucked up. Okay, 8% chance to miss. Let's do this. Miss. Well, there goes one healer. <laughs> Ideally, I can take out this guy at least. Very important to get rid of this guy, because he hits like a truck. less of the, the horrible healing sound effect. Well, the thing about that is sure that's correct, but it also means that if I lose the, the, the fight, the battle, because I got less healing, then it means we'll have to hear even more of it because I'll have to do the mission. Again. Uh, okay. Can't do that. Okay. All right, let's, let's get our back to do that. Yeah. yeah, more of that. Hmm. Inject that directly into my skull. Okay. Uh. This guy's got so much defense. 65%. It's 2%. 2 HP as a result. See, now he's defending instead of, uh... I'm just going to have to go for the Flare Bomb. 65. Come on. Oh, God. Another one. Actually, no. It's not. Eh. Alright, who needs healing? So far, only him. And he's got a healer next to him already. 
Okay, so we'll buff, uh... We'll buff Andrew's defense. Hey! Better than nothing. Oh, I just remembered another uh, PS2, I think, launch game that I got. Uh, Time Splitters. Man, what a great game. Really love Time Splitters. It was really difficult, though. Hell of a game. Uh, let's see. What's my best move here gonna be? Let's do this. I think that was another game that I I just played the hell out of and, and locked everything. Oh yeah, and then I didn't get it at launch, but Summoner was another one that I got early on. And I remember renting uh, um, what was it? Orphan? I think was the name? There, There's some, some dumb anime game that, that was a quote-unquote RPG and I think that's that's why I I wanted it slash rented it, and yeah, what a what a not very good game. Okay, fifty percent chance to hit, so we'll we'll roll the dice here. It, it's called it's like Orphan: The Scion of Sorcery, I think is the full title, and it's 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 a literal anime game. It's based off an anime that I, I learned later it was, and it explained a lot. Okay, well this is uh. I'm just gonna have to defend this, because otherwise this is gonna one-shot me. Unless I can... Alright, 30% is. See, this is the problem with why I didn't want this guy to... to aggro, because... he hits for a billion damage. Okay. Best move here. 30. It was O R P H E N, or Fen. Scion of sorcery. Yeah, even even more units to show up. That would be just perfect. Okay, pretty sure somebody somebody needs FP here. Uh, somebody over here. Nobody does. Okay, never mind. For once, nobody needs FP.
Alright, gotta keep our healers alive. Okay, good. Yes, this will do. For whatever reason, this guy is weaker than the the regular foot soldier in front of me. So sure. All right, horseman, what can you do? No, no. That's... that's not gonna work out well for me. Let's not do that. And then I think this'll still... This is probably the best thing I can do here. Probably. Well, if hell, yes, the... He has the happy portrait, even during that. Even while brainwashed. Okay, good. She's actually attacking who I want her to attack. So this is going to get this guy up to full fatigue, which is ideal, because that removes him from being able to attack. And he hits for like 400 damage, so getting rid of him is the priority, absolute priority. Even if I lose Horseman here, that's okay. This is also pretty okay. Alright, 50-50 chance to counterattack. I'm gonna do it. 49% means 100%. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, he didn't attack, but the counter was successful. Which is still a good outcome. Still an outcome I'm okay with. Alright. Stop bullying my, he my healers. Dang it. So he's still going to be frozen for another full turn. So... Uh... 61... This might kill? No, this won't. This is going to hit for like 58. 57, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, we might as well miss them.
Still no reinforcement spawning. Okay. So, Alright. So let's heal our other healer here. about we just board space like that. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Alright. 50-50. Yeah, this, uh... This game has a lot of sound effects that are present in other games. Like, uh, the... The melee attacks have the same... Uh, same sound effect as Age of Empires. That sound effect there. That's the same sound effect they use in Age of Empires for, um, archer units, I think. Okay. Man. stations? Huh. Where's she going now? Where's she- okay. Why are you attacking that one? There's one with two health in front of you. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, princess. The AI in this game is something special. Yeah, the princess would be getting blown up if I, uh... I pretty much just have to follow her lead for a lot of this and, and attack what she's attacking. She's the one running the show here. Oh, no, no. That is, that is a waste of resources there. Okay. 4 HP does not need the, the 80 FP attack. This to get ready for pouring rain. Okay, sure. It's not going to do anything. That works. Alright, got a heal Devlin here. Or not.
when a transaction is finished. Huh. Interesting. up all of your, your action points. I'll walk around behind him. from like from card transactions or or paint at the pump and when or paint at the the counter and when it uses up the the thing oh for cashier inside huh weird so it must be the the terminal thing that they that they use That's bizarre all right horseman us home. Oh, or not. Because he's at 100 fatigue. Uh-oh. Oh, for fuck's sake! Seriously? Fucking seriously? Maybe I do need to go after the boss now. They might just keep infinitely respawning. So I'm, I'm gonna move Robo Pope up to the top. So I guess I, I guess a way to check is do they have numbers? They have. So the reinforcements in the last level stop spawning after. Uh, I forget how, but they did stop spawning after a certain. Amount of them. Okay, so if I move. Okay, I'm gonna bring Robo Pope and uh, a healer and probably defense guy up to the boss and. Give it a go. Man. Though, the, the reinforcements stop spawning after six of them. So... I don't know. 47% chance, surely this will miss.
also. Just in case. Do a mid-battle save here. Just in case this goes horribly wrong. Yeah, 600 HP. It's, uh... That is... quite a lot. I don't want to get hit by cutting them all. Trap there. Okay. Okay, so we know the boss's attack range now. So it looks like it's to the center of that middle staircase. Yep, strategy RPG final bosses, huh? Great. Here's, here goes my healer. It's straight up dead. <sighs> this is this has gone so sideways.
This has gone so sideways. This this is this is pretty much a rip. By the way. This is not a whole lot I can do about this. Round two. Well, round two is not going to take place today. And it's, it's going to take too long to take out uh, these things. Okay, so I, I want to do some science here. We're, we're not beating this in this sitting. I'm going to start Half-Life soon. Uh, I just want to do some science here on if the... So I want to know if the boss... If I move this guy here... Does the boss follow me? No, okay, so the boss is stationary. Okay, so we, we learned that the boss is stationary. The next thing I want to learn is if these guys stop respawning. Uh, and I don't think I can learn that quick enough to, uh, to make a difference here. So I've, I've lost my healers, essentially. I, I have one healer and Robopope. And this is... This is really not a... A great situation here. Um... So I don't know. Devlin's almost dead. Most of my party's almost dead. Uh. Cause yeah, if if the game did the thing where these uh, these sharking units just keep respawning until you take out the boss, then that's that's totally fucked. Because these things are are extremely strong. See, this this might not be completely over yet. If more units keep spawning here after I take out like like this guy, then I'll know I need to adjust my approach to this whole mission. Because I think it was when I got the amount of Imperial units down to two is when more spawned in. 